vision What is going on everybody? It is Racer Electrified here again with another video. Uh, right off the bat, I already apologize for the uh, basic sound of my voice. Um, I'm not sick, but I guess like the allergies are kind of kicking in with me at the moment. So yeah. Anyway, so today we're gonna be we're gonna be playing some Cold Waters. Now this game, if you don't already know what it is, this game is basically uh, during the Cold War. It's you know the campaign's based on the Cold War, um, and you're basically a NATO submarine, an American submarine, nonetheless. And you basically have to go up against the entire Soviet Navy. And you have to do your best to basically defeat the Soviets. And it's, you know, sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's easy. It just depends on how you play the game. But uh, for today's video, for just to start off with the series, we're going to be just basically playing some normal uh, little missions here. Um, well, let's see here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see here. Helicopter carry, nah. Some of these I don't like because of the simple fact that the, the uh, submarine, the weapons that they give you, don't, um, they're like dumb fire pretty much, and it's kind of annoying. And they're faster than the wire guided ones. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're just going to play uh, in the presence of wolves, which is basically a thing against submarines. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, make sure they don't escape. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's her mission, but it doesn't always happen, and it's just the way it is sometimes. So anyway, um, of course, because I love playing the submarine, we're going to be playing the Los Angeles class. Um, that's all the things there. It's got a max speed of 33 knots, 120 and crew, uh, 950 feet of test step, with the, which is kind of a little shallow for this type of submarine, but it's okay. We got Mark 48 torpedo. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background. Um, I apologize also, real quick, for not actually um, uploading for a while. Um, it's just, it's been crazy, and I have had to focus on school more so than this. But anyway, now that I have the time to record, I figured I'd record some cold waters for you guys. So uh, here we go. Uh, so do this. Da -da 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 -da. We're going to accept, and it's going to bring us into this which is the basically the queue before battle now to explain to you guys what this is so all hands man battle stations that puts you at this range which is kind of far away that's near this is pretty much near 25,000 yards and that's what this k is 25,000 which in miles that's I, i'm not i'm not going to figure the math i might put some subtitles in there if i figured it out in editing but anyway I usually like to start right around, depending on the target, we're going against submarines, so I tip, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go at 15,000 yards, but usually if I'm just trying to get somebody 10,000 yards, which is pretty much knife fight distance, 25,000 is obviously you're approaching something and then from there, but yeah, uh, and then you can go to your exo status report, I'm going to put a moss in there just in case, damage control, hull is 100%, these are all the things that you have. That are available to you. These are your weapons, your torpedoes, your uh, TLM missiles, TASM missiles, harpoons, and uh, yeah. So, and you can also carry spec ops. But that's uh, if this, if I can at least get this um, this video to get a few likes anyway, and to get you know views and all that stuff. And if you guys want to see more of this game, uh, do let me know because I I would be happy to record it compared to Phantom Forces. I feel like for recording Phantom Force. So anyway, enough with the talking. A new corner, new sonar contact, uh, bearing 241, doesn't need one Our depth is 402, our speed 5. Our heading is 252, so we need to turn a little bit to the left. Uh, yeah, so bearing 241. On sonar, new contact, bearing 241. Right. Ring ship for ultra quiet. Alright, see, this is exactly why I decided to start out this far. Because what we're going to do is I basically have it where um for me realistic play of this game is basically where um I'm gonna go ahead and see if I c I can't really classify him to be honest well I, I can actually and I'm gonna try to see if I I'm sorry if I you can hear my keyboard in the background 
It's just the way it is. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? We have uh, Kilo. One is classified as submerged submarine. I really hope he did not just turn into us. That's gonna suck if he just did. No, he turned away. I think because uh, Ellie, or well, his active and passive are both at uh negative 50 which is good that means he cannot hear us whatsoever so what we're gonna do Come left is two, just turn two, in three, seven, helm, I. this is actually a really good firing position to be honest was our ellie 81 so this is gonna be a pretty good shot um so just to kind of explain this game a little a little bit now that we're actually in the game is that another third submarine yeah, there's three submarines out here. Oof. Uh, check around us. No, no one else? Okay, cool. Well, basically, I have it where it, high, it shows low solution or no contacts because that seems more realistic for me. Yes, that's pretty much cheating in the game, but I don't care. This is how I play it. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to just fire here. This guy will obviously be able to hear it, but... What we're gonna do is we're gonna fire a moss this way we're not gonna reload well might as well at this point so he just went active um but he didn't launch anything which is actually surprising usually they launch like fucking usually they launch like five different torpedoes at you off of a bearing i mean he's able to hear me he's got act he's got f fucking uh He's got 13 active, so I don't know about that. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and shallow search on this guy. Well, now he can't hear us. Yeah, he won't be able to hear us anymore. So that's okay. I like that. That'll work. However, I got that guy going toward them just so they think that that's me. And, uh, yeah. So now we've got an 88% solution. The torpedo will more than likely bring a little bit more data back, as it just did. Con sonar, noise maker, but uh, two, five, zero. But um, yeah. So the like I said, this game is basically this: you in a submarine versus the Soviet Navy. And Come naturally, on, sometimes the difficult control, will uh be quite difficult if that's the way you play it. If you basically make it difficult on yourself, Con sonar, and contact. Okay, he got wrecked. Last bearing, two, five, uh, five. Contact breaking okay, we're gonna go in, in two, the direction two, of our moss zero, here. Eight, helm, I. Uh, but yeah, so this is basically what you do: is you just you scour around, see if you could find anybody, and if you can, classify them via this, which you can use your uh, your colon and uh, what's it called? Uh, your colon and your quotation mark key basically basically the controls in this game are w a s and d are to move the submarine around pilot it drive it whatever uh w goes down s goes up right a and d go left and right e is your um ballast up which base you're a submarine so you're controlled basically based off of your buoyancy and your uh pitch that's basically what happens here. Um, so yeah, that's that. You uh, E and C control your ballast by up and down, negative thirty to positive thirty, and um, yeah, Q and Z control your your throttle. Um, I really hope I'm saying that correctly. But anyway, uh, these were actually recent updates here, uh, the set speed and stuff like that. So basically, the only thing you're gonna do is fire torpedoes and that's about it um now of course whenever you get into actual oh god whenever you get into actual like battles and stuff like that that's when you basically have to like throttle up and start doing that anyway what we're going to do here is we're going to see if we can get behind this guy well first of all we're going to see if we can get a shot off from that guy because if he thinks that's us and he hears that boss which I'm pretty sure I can, yeah. Yeah, this guy's near in front of this guy. So, 
I, I don't know what he's going to do with that, but something. Anyway, we're just turning toward this guy because we're, we're going to get into his baffles. And then I'm going to see if when I'm in his baffles, if I can light him up. Or if I can just get close enough because the Ellie is only uh, 81, which is not that loud at all. But, um, yeah. If you guys need any more explanation on the game, do comment it below. Um, I'll answer as much as I can. I actually consider myself a decently experienced player when it comes to this. Uh, I actually forgot how many hours I have in this game. I know it's over, like, at least 80. So I've got a, I've got quite a few hours in this game already. Um, this game on Steam, I'm pretty sure it's like $40. It's not cheap whatsoever. Well, that's actually pretty cheap compared to, like, other games on Steam. But, um, yeah. So this is basically all you do in this game. And I'm sorry if this is boring to you. Uh, if it is, just click to a certain part of the video if you really want to. Yep. There you go. Alright, now what we're going to do is... Where's it at? Where's it at? This guy looks like a whiskey, maybe. Sorry for that voice crack. I'm just... Oh, Fox Shot. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're going to try to get see if we can get behind him. I mean, we're in a good shooting position right now. But, um... I mean, we probably could shoot, to be honest. Uh, let's see here. I want to make sure that at least his passive stays pretty low. Um, Let's see here. Uh, let's turn in here, just so we have some... Oh. There was a uh, uh, sonar buoy that was dropped behind us. Hopefully that doesn't get us into trouble. This game, these, the AI, I, I run them at realistic right now. And um, they're actually not too bad on realistic. Um, and naturally I've become, you know, better at the game compared to, you know, natural when I started. So it's like, I don't know, that's just that. But anyway... Um, we're actually gonna we're gonna perform a TMA leg on this guy, and basically what we're gonna do is this guy I'm pretty sure is heading this way, because we're all going pretty much at five knots. I'm gonna reach. I don't know why I didn't do that before, but anyway, what we're gonna do is we're I'm gonna see if I can get behind this guy. Well, more so just so my um toad array can pretty much get a good reading on his hull um so yeah but you do have to base it this thing is pretty much related to world of warships in the sense of when you're broadside to even like like a submarine or something like that and they ping active on you they're gonna easily get something back so right now this guy just can't hear me because uh, his uh, sonar system probably sucks, to be honest. Let's see here. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not that good compared to our sonar system. We've got pretty good uh, sonar system. So naturally, we're you know. I mean, uh, there are so, there are Soviet submarines like the Victor and the Alpha and stuff like that that are very capable of. Uh, you know, destroying you and outrunning your torpedoes and stuff like that. I really apologize if I'm talking too much while I'm doing this. It's just, this is very boring if, um, if I don't comment it, I guess. And obviously, you know, no point in music because why would you add music to this game? But, uh, anyway. So, turning in on this guy. Yeah, that guy's heading that way. Hopefully he won't hear this, but he probably will, so we're just going to have to be careful. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and shoot. Shoot two, one. Aye, sir. I was trying to think if I should turn broadside or not, but we're not going to waste time with that. We're just going to shoot, see what this guy does. He'll probably launch like five torpedoes at me and I'll have to like send off a moss and go into torpedo evasion. Now as you can see, the um the uh 
the time that the torpedo has is not a lot. But that's also because that's the difficulty I play on. When you play on harder difficult, I, I, I've noticed that whenever you play on harder difficulties or in other missions, your torpedo has like way more time. Yeah, see, there's the airplane. Con, sonar, launch transient from Sierra to. Yep. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Shit. Well. Alright, now we're gonna have to do. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Two, four, four, designated Sierra, three. Con, fire control, we've lost the wire. Yep, that's what something I shouldn't have done. That's a mistake that'll get you. And see that dude's going at oh cool. He's going active up there. Now my question is, what is our torpedo gonna do? Because now that torpedo is basically let loose. Oh it looks like he's going to a thing. Cool, 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 cool. That means he's gonna go after him. That works out for us. Nice. I like it. Alright. So the mistake there that was made was that I ended up okay cool he's go I think he's going after never mind no he's not but um the mistake I ended up making was when you pitch down like that you uh I hope this that's not being recorded but uh whenever you pitch down like that you lose the wire because well that's just what happens all right so Sierra 3 what are you your tango all right All right, so while this is going on, we're going to go ahead and pre prepare the next tube. This guy's fairly close, so um, hopefully this will do that. And see, this is near 20 minutes already. That's how long these battles take. Like, some of them take near an hour, because that's cold waters, and that's submarine warfare. Because a lot of your, a lot of the submarine warfare that, you know, that happens even in real life... If, you know, when it happens, because a lot of the times the Navy just usually searches for people to see if there's anything. Um, a lot of the times it's just searching. And even if, and uh, when it comes to searching, uh, basically what ends up happening is if there is a contact found and they got a very uh, pretty low solution on him, then what they have to do is they have to do a TMA lake, which sometimes that could take like a near day to do, depending on the contact. So, uh, yeah, so that, there's your little, uh, history lesson, not history lesson, what am I saying? God damn it, Razor. I'm being stupid. Anyway, so, if this guy were to go active right now, he would probably see me. But we've got a pretty good solution on him now. Is that... Okay, no, that's just... Yep. Oh, because he sees the... Yep. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. See, he sees my torpedo. And so... Yeah, he thinks that's me. So... We gotta shoot now. Uh, so let's... Let's shoot. Unless... Nah, nah, we gotta shoot. Because otherwise, all right. Let's just go ahead and head in this direction, to the right. I don't know how he's still able to hear me. That's my question. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing two, seven, three. Why did he launch a noise maker? The heck! I really hope this torpedo does not see me. Rig ship for ultra quiet. I actually genuinely hope that. This guy over here might, but this guy... I've only died a few times in this game, but I don't know. He might see me. Let's get this torpedo on depth with the submarine. Yeah, see, now we've got a 94 solution on him. So we'll get a pretty direct hit. Okay, gauging based off of what's going on right now. These torpedoes will go past me. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. That actually scared me for a second. I thought they were going to say... Uh, sonar, we got a, you know, torpedo in the water. That basically means, get the engine up, go. But, uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go near him. Con sonar, noise maker bearing two, eight, 
one. Nice. And that's basically a mission one for us. Now the only thing we have to do is just get fat or get um Make turn get down quick. One zero knots. Make turns for two zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Seems like a good heading. And uh oops shit. Passing eight hundred feet. Shit. What am I doing? I done forgot the controls. <laughs> Oof. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and go to flank three, bell. Three Ooh, shit. Going past test depth. Do not implode, do not implode, do not implode. Thank God. Let's come back up. It, you you can actually, like, Passing push the submarine. And if you do, it will, exp it will implode. Passing Trust me, like... Feet. Like, there was one time where, um, I had just dodged a torpedo, and I forgot that I was still going down, and literally, I would've won that battle if, um, if, if I had realized that, because basically what happened was I imploded, and I died. So yeah, that was a mission, um, in the presence of wolves. So as you can, so as you just saw from there, this game is, you know, in my opinion, it's pretty cool. I like it. I've been playing this. I've been playing this game, you know, for a while. I wouldn't say ever since it came out, but I've, you know, I found out about this game through some YouTubers. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment down if you guys would like to see some more of this uh, game, and uh, I shall see you next time.